for my talk at the table, um, I have something that you're seeing first on CBS Mornings. Yeah. We're revealing Bon Appetit's new list of best new restaurants of 2022. It will be published in their October issue. The list is a decades-long tradition for Bon Appetit. Staff members travel the country sampling foods at new eateries. Talk about a dream job. Get a place on this lineup. It can make a big difference for the restaurants. Now, before we reveal this year's picks, let's take a look at what goes into making the list and what it means to be on it. Every year, there's an enormous responsibility. You want to get it right. You want to make sure that the restaurants you choose really represent the best and the most exciting right now. And I think now, more than ever, we're thinking about not just, oh, is this food delicious, but what is the vibe of this place? How are the people that are working here feeling? You really, really get a sense that for a lot of new restaurants, being recognized in this way and feeling seen in this way by a publication like Bon Appetit is such a gratifying moment. Being in the hot 10, it forever changed Kindred. It does bring in a lot of customers. It went from like $20,000 a week to like $60,000 a week like that. But it also is this moment where a chef or a sommelier or a restaurant owner gets to step back and realize what an amazing thing they've done. It pushed me as a chef. It made me want to be better. It, there's a lot of power in that list. You start with the chef. Is the chef doing something that feels true to them? We're trying to introduce people to La Ocean food, understanding that this is what we grew up with. Our mom and grandma picked this type of food for us. All food is culture, and all culture is history. The true essence of Southeast Asian Laos cuisine is, is making things from scratch. And so I think there's just so much more that goes into a restaurant than you might expect from first walking in, and I think all of that goes into choosing a restaurant and knowing it's one of the best new restaurants in the country. Bon Appetit's list of best new restaurants this year includes, in no particular order, Supperland in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's described as Southern Steakhouse meets Church Potluck. Oh, Whoa, sign me up. Me Cafe too. Mudden in Hudson, New York, um, which uses meats and vegetables from local farmers and foragers, and Republica in Portland, Oregon, which honors Mexican heritage. Mm -hmm. Don Davis is editor-in-chief of Bon Appetit. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Thank okay, you. Okay, so, so you're saying that Supperland is worth a trip to Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Absolutely. As you mentioned, it's a steakhouse meets a potluck, church potluck. It's in a mid-century old church. It's got a speakeasy and a champagne bar. I have made the miso mac and cheese. My mother happened to be visiting. And this is a woman who never changes the Thanksgiving menu, and she's putting it on the Thanksgiving menu. And mac and cheese is one of those things that people don't adjust. People don't adjust, but modern <laughs> comfort food that you can share with big parties, and it's super great atmosphere. Okay. All right. Cafe Mutton in Hudson, New York. I'd actually been there on a recommendation of a yeah. friend before this came out. What'd you think, and Tony? Eloise broke a glass, so I don't think I can go back. <laughs> <laughs> but they're changing the game, you say. It was very good. They're changing the game. The chef had been working in New York City, got tired of being told what to put on the menu, a grain bowl, an avocado toast, and just followed her own instincts. She works with foragers and farmers, often using parts that other people don't want, and turns it into magic. Stews, makes her own pâtés. She also makes crepes by day. We have a recipe for the Ooh. crepes in our like uh, issue. She also makes delicious muffins. So it's really kind of an all-day place where you're going to trust the chef's instincts. Yeah. You said there's a lot of uh, restaurants on the list, Don, that you described as what-if restaurants. What does that mean? Kind of. I think after the pandemic, the chefs had an opportunity to rethink what they want to be post-pandemic. So what if they could make modern comfort food that's Korean and American. Mm. And one chef, her adoptive father is Jewish, so she also has Korean and American comfort food with a nod to uh, Jewish food as well. So really, really interesting combinations. They're bold. Republica. Did I say that right? Republica. Republica. In Portland, Oregon. In Portland, Oregon. It's Why'd they make your list? Five tastes, five course tasting menu, under $100. Ooh. Paying homage to the food, the indigenous food of Mexico. So think uh, one course is with maize. They import it from century old farms all over Mexico mm. and then kind of transform it here in the States. They have a mezcal tasting menu and wines imported from Mexico. And I think wines from Mexico are really underrated. So a really special experience there. Okay, so you said you made the miso mac and cheese. Yeah. On this list, there's recipes of places that you may not be able to make it to, but you can actually make it yourself at home. 
Exactly. And we've adapted them for the home cook. We spend a lot of time in making sure that these recipes are obtainable and something that the home cook could actually do. If I can make the miso mac and cheese, anyone can. Is that what this pie is oh, we, right here, we guys? Have a, we, we, have, we, have we have a, have a home, home cook. cook. Yeah, this is not me, by the way. This is Shout Chris out to Dover, you, Chris Dover. Supervising yeah. producer. I hope we didn't wrong you in any way recently. This is going to be a good pie. Now, Anything in it? Now, what is this, Don? This, this pie? is the Extremadura custard pie. It's from Boca Dia Market in Chicago, one of our best 10. Mm -hmm. What I love about Boca Dia Market is he fell in love, James Martin fell in love with the food of Spain, but he also wanted to pay homage to the food from the American South. So okay. by day, again, you can get sandwiches, cafes, pies. This is a pies. custard pie. This is a a custard custard pie. pie. goes my abs. Yeah, and he, he puts a little Pop bit of uh, gin or vodka in the crust, so I think that gives it a little kind of That's bounce. Good. Really good. Mm -hmm. And almond flour mm. and eggs make this delicious custard. Really great. Mm. Really I see good. some smiles. No, They're really good. Dover did a really good job. Yeah. Did a Dover, nicely job. done. Yeah, I like that. Very good job. Great. I love the variety of the restaurants on your list. It's really amazing. Um, you used to call it top ten, though. Kansas City, Missouri. They got a, a Palestinian restaurant named Baba's. Baba's Pantry. Baba's Looks terrific. Pantry. Baba had been working for other people for over really 20 good. years in the food industry, but his dream was to have his own place and to bring the food of Palestine to the people in yeah. Kansas City. And he did that. Some of the best hummus with shredded beef or shredded lamb, Ooh. if you like. It's fantastic. And already, you know, we have a top 50 list. And since yeah. it made that top 50 list, he's had to close for a couple of days to restock because people wow. are loving it so really? much. Really? Listen. And, and like you went from good. top 10 to just best restaurants. Yeah. We because it's the best way to We do are it. all foodies, and we appreciate you coming, Don Davis. You are the best. I just oh, want to hear a finish the sentence about why you changed from top. We changed <laughs> it from hot to best because after the pandemic, we thought restaurants had been through so much. Got it. And it's not just about the hot environment. It's about the story. It's about the ambiance. And ultimately, it's about the food. Yeah. And we this thought these were good. the best interpretation of that. No doubt about it's it. It's over. You go. This is all right. It's not like it's hip. This is more than just hip. This is good. This really is good. Hip heart and delicious. And right? for you at home, you can head to CBS Mornings on your favorite social media platform to get the recipe for this pie and many others. Bon Appetit's October issue hits newsstands next week. Thank you.